If you bought your home before the 1990s, chances are it's a technological clean slate. You can move in and do whatever you want with it, make it as smart as you want. But if you buy a newer home, you're presented with an interesting conundrum. See, back then, technology is not nearly as advanced as it is now. So you may have a home filled with older technology that feels clunky and awkward by today's standards. So what do you do to modernize it and bring it into the new millennium? That's what we're here to find out. We're gonna take this home and get it updated so that it's got the latest cutting edge technology powered by Control 4. One of the features of this house was a distributed audio system. There's speakers in nearly every room up in the ceiling, and they have keypads around here that allow you to source different components, but really it was very limited. There was basically CD and FM, AM radio, maybe a satellite tuner, and that was it. What about Spotify and Pandora and iTunes? Well, that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna modernize this, so we had to yank everything out of this rack, and we're going to install new components from Sonos, Apple, and Control for that will allow the owners of the home to stream just about anything they want, anywhere, with the flexibility of having different streaming stations going on in different rooms at the same time. There is, of course, a video element to this as well. This video closet was previously used pretty much to power the home theater, and it was loaded with some really high-end, yet antiquated equipment. This Macintosh receiver, for instance, sounds pretty amazing, but it lacks all the modern conveniences of a connected network receiver and the new surround sound formats. That's going to get ripped out and replaced. It's the same story with this projector. This thing was very high end in its day, very high brightness, but it barely does high definition, let alone 4K Ultra HD. And another problem, it's located in a bedroom. We're gonna move the projector location back where it belongs in the home theater. We're also adding a new video element in that we're going to be distributing video throughout the home. So now these TVs will no longer be standalone, they'll be connected with each other and addressable by the system so you can play pretty much any source you want on any TV. It's just as important to know what to keep as it is to know what to replace. And in this case, the home theater's got a couple of solid elements that we don't want going anywhere. The theater already has an excellent projection screen, and the speakers made by Triad are top notch. We don't want them going anywhere. But we're gonna breathe new life into them with a new projector and a new AB receiver. That takes care of the audio-visual elements, but we're going for a smart home here. So to accomplish that, we're gonna to have to fold in a number of different elements, chief among them, lighting. We're gonna make sure that every light is smart, so you can control them from anywhere using everything from a smartphone to a tablet to the TV remote through Control 4's app. They'll also be programmed to work with various presets that shut the home down when the owners leave, then power it back up when returning from work or even an extended vacation. What's more, Control 4 system brings with it the ability to turn lights on and off, start playing music, even start a movie in the home theater, all by using Alexa voice control. Strategically placed Echo and Echo Dot speakers throughout the house will add this voice control, and I think you're gonna love to see how it works and be surprised by how easy it is to use. Clearly there's a lot of work to do to get the old tech out, but once we're done punching holes in walls and ripping cable out, we get to the fun stuff. In the next video of this series, we're gonna focus in on the home theater. We're gonna check out some of the new equipment going in, find out what kind of new features will be available, and we're also gonna learn how that gets tied in with the rest of this entire smart home. <laughs>